Hey, it's Dave White with Quad City Safety, here to have a conversation about gloves and some of the technology that's changing. You've probably seen gloves like this all over the place, and you go, you're going, why is this out there? Well, as hand protection's kind of progressed, we've we started wearing gloves, and we've started wearing gloves that may have cut resistance, like this example here has cut resistance. But what we're finding is after we start wearing gloves and we start wearing the right gloves, for the main hazards, we're still having contusions. So basically a contusion means we're striking our hands or we're taking blunt impacts. So some of the technology it's changing is incorporating TPR in the back of the hand. So these metacarpal bones that we have, all these little bones up and down our hands and fingers, we're not smashing those. Once we notice that we've protected from, for instance, this is a cut resistant glove, we've protected against cuts. Maybe just a general purpose. Maybe we've gone after thermal protection, so we have a glove that performs very well outside. Maybe we're kind of in a, in a trades and we just need a trades glove. But then all of a sudden we start having incidences. A lot of times that becomes, again, a contusion. So we're, we're taking a blunt force trauma. So we've incorporated more technologies into these gloves and the palms. So when we look at it, for instance, this glove that is cut resistant, uh, it does very well in heat. Well, it also incorporates metacarpal coverage and also coverage in the fingers. This is just a general purpose. So we've just taken just a general purpose glove, something that we can do everyday tasks with and incorporated a metacarpal coverage into it. We've taken this, which is a winter, winter glove, and incorporated that into it. And this guy here has the most technology of them all, so it has taken uh, kind of look, not necessarily space age, but something that's uh, being used more and more, and it's it's a compound called D3O, and it's a phase it's a phase change nanotechnology. So when it's hit, it goes from a very pliable situation to where it tenses up, and it actually pulls the energy out of the charge. So it kind of dissipates energy throughout the glove. So again, keep in mind that when you're starting off looking you may go generation one, which may be looking for cut resistance, but all of a sudden maybe we notice that we have some damage cut happening to back hand. Maybe we need to incorporate that. Maybe we're getting some trauma in our palms of our hands. Maybe we need to impregnate the palm with some padding. So keep in mind that the uh, hand protection is changing on a daily basis, and just recognizing the hazards that you have, there's usually a glove that'll fit it.